All right, all right, all right. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. I think this is episode three, yeah. Episode three, back in the Young and Thoughtful. Welcome back. Thank you guys for your likes and comments and uh, sharing it uh, for the last video. But anyways, episode three is going to be about one of my favorite topics, which is gonna be about the dating scene or situation scene, I don't know. But the dating scene in college. So anyways, to just kind of start it off, I like to say that, you know, I definitely, you know, do well for myself, especially, well, not the day. Well, I don't even know if I want to call it dating scene, but the situationships, the talking scene, I feel like I do well for myself in that area too. But I feel like I've also gotten the privilege of like absorbing everything up close in college. So like, I've definitely absorbed what the dating, I've definitely absorbed it I don't want to say better than a lot of people, but I've definitely absorbed like a lot of parts of the dating scene when it comes to college. And I think one of the things that I've absorbed is definitely, I think is definitely the super, I think everything is really, really, really superficial when it comes to the dating scene. I think a lot of the times in college, people like what you have. And I think this also leads to the idea of like, okay, like a person with like a lot of, I don't think anybody really has like a lot of money in college. I don't think that's really a big thing. I think outside the world that might be a big thing, but not in college. But I do think one of the things that's prominent though is status. I do think status plays heavily when it comes to the whole dating scene, when it comes to college as well. I think this, you know, status kind of comes from, let's say if you like, you're a, uh, whether you're a frat dude or you're an athlete or you're a sorority girl or, you know, you work with clubs or, you know, you have a lot of moves or stuff like that, right? I think those are the type of people like in college where we can put, you know, on that pedestal to where we consider these people to have status. And not that these people are bad people. I think some of the most amazing people that I've met in college are these type of people. But at the same time though, you know, because, you know, people put them on this pedestal, you know, people people can put them, you know, in a category to where they feel like they're above. I think sometimes it can get to some people's heads to where they're like, oh, okay, like, um, you know, maybe they're a little bit narcissistic or they feel like they're better than everybody else or, you know, maybe they feel like they're just perfect you know, and they can just do whatever they want. I think that sometimes that can lead to that. And I think that people that wanna, you know, and because, not even that the people want to, but I think because, you know, I think a lot of the times those type of people, if they have that type of mindset, they really just like lack confidence. I definitely do think that they can end up leading with the things that they have, you know? So instead of like leading with themselves, they just lead with what they have, whether it's with the status or, you know, whether it's with, I think for a lot of girls, whether they're like extremely attractive, it's like with sex or, you know, I think it's with in those lines or maybe it's with, you know, for both of them, whether it's like the access that they have, right? I definitely do believe like those are the things that, you know, that kind of happen in like college dating, especially in that life. But I do really think that it's really rare to find someone, and because at the end of the day, that superficiality part of it, it's very much of, you know, at the end of the day, people really just like what you have. And, you know, I think it's very rare to find really people that like you for who you are, especially, especially, especially in the dating scene, for sure. Now, moving on to like the second part, I would definitely say the second part is definitely more lines like, neediness i feel like there's a lot of like neediness especially i feel like these are where people really figure out like they're really really needy people um but at the end of the day we're human we all have needs so i feel like but people kind of go about these needs in wrong ways and i think the root of these needs could be like a lot of people really want attention i think a lot of people really want you know they're really looking for validation or identity you know, maybe they came from, you know, a really strict parent household and maybe they're trying to live a life that they never lived back when they were in their small town or back when they're 
you know, in their small counties or whatever, your small school, whatever it is, right? Maybe they grew up and they didn't get a lot of attention at their school, right? So maybe they're, or they didn't feel like they were attractive back at their old school. Maybe they're trying to live up to that life now, especially in college as well. Or, you know, maybe they don't get a lot of, like I said, maybe they don't get a lot of attention. You know, I think on a more, maybe some people, some people have a fear of missing out too. I think that's also a need to that a lot of people have. I think a lot of needs too, I think more on deeper lines though, because I do feel like this relates to everybody. Though. I feel like really all of it roots back to like a lot of people are really looking for a deep sense of connection or they're really just looking for comfort. You know, I think a lot of people are looking for that, right? And I think, you know, with those list of needs, it causes people to like start, oh, I think my camera's about to, die i don't know okay but anyways i think it, it definitely leads people to start you know because they have these list of needs they start chasing and i think that's not it definitely doesn't put you in a position to you know have the best situations for you if you start chasing with all of those needs so yeah but i think those are just like the two major things that I absorbed about like the dating scene in college but um, with those two major observations, another observation I find is, okay, okay, what are like the most successful situations, right? Or who are the most successful people? And I don't think it's the people with a lot of status or a lot of, you know, they look the best or, you know, they come from this or they do that and all that type of stuff, right? Because at the end of the day, I feel like it's just I mean, very superficial, right? But I feel like the people that are really, truly that really truly have the best experience when it comes to the dating scene in college is the people that really, I think this is, can even travel along the lines when it comes to like, you know, dating, you know, even in life in general, you know what I mean? I really do think it's the people that truly find themselves. I feel like the people that are super secure in who they are, the people that know what they want, I think the people that, you know, I mean, don't like, not to be like, you know, tight with it or stuff like that, still have the ability to change. But like people that, are, that have a good values, that develop values, that develop a sense of who they are, regardless of what other people think. And I feel like those people for sure, they're not willing to compromise themselves for other people. I don't think they're willing to compromise. I don't think they're not, I don't think that they are willing to compromise their values or their sense of self just to please others or just to please the person that they're pursuing. I feel like they're also not gonna put themselves in bad situations just because of the person that they're trying to pursue. And at the end of the day, I feel like those type of people, those type of people are the people that attract, not necessarily the most, because I also do believe if you attract like if you're attracting like a lot of people, a lot of like people or stuff like that, I do feel like, okay, that may just be, you know, a problem for you because what's unique about you if you're just attracting everything that just comes your way, right? But also I feel like people that really attract the best are just the people that are secure the most. The people that really just know themselves are just, you know, so complete with themselves that they don't have to fall or they don't have to bend for other people that they just know that, hey, I'm just myself, and I'm coming as myself, and the people that really accept that, they attract the best for themselves. And I think that really leads to like, you know, kind of the things that are really successful in college, or successful in the dating scene in college, but also just successful in the dating scene just in general. And I think those are just the things that I've just absorbed about it. Um, not to kind of say that, you know, I'm not just trying to say all of these things because like acting like I'm perfect or whatever it is, not at all. I feel like I've listed like a lot of the problems that I've had, especially in this list that I just kind of said or in those observations that I made for sure. But I do feel like this can be insightful. You know, it can definitely make you think a lot about a lot of things. And uh, yeah, I think those are just, you know, kind of my experiences, my observations about the dating scene in college. And like, hopefully this was beneficial to you, you know, um, but yeah. Episode three was a quick one, quicker than usual. But anyways, like, subscribe, comment, and uh, yeah, we'll see you soon.